Hi, I'm Chris from m, &M Stockyards. Uh, a commonly asked question uh, by a lot of customers of ours is how do your drafting gates work? Uh, it is something that um, is, is a basic, basic system, but it works extremely well. And we believe trying to keep things basic is the best, best system in the yards. Um, I'll give you a general rundown on the yards and why, why we do what we do with this particular gate. Um, the idea of the drafting gate is to have the gate hit against the frame when you're drafting animals from your drafting pound into your outer yards. The idea of that is so an animal can't hit the gate and push their way through. But there are times that we do want that gate to swing in the opposite direction. To do so, we disengage this locking latch, it locks our double this piece. Double the gate up, straighten it back out, re-engage the latch, and then the gate then also gets on the other side of the frame. That's the main reason for that is being there's times when you want the gate to swing the other way to bring cattle into the yards or you're transferring cattle from one yard to another. There are other options such as slam catches and things. We do have slam catches in our drafting pound uh, that's generally going into your four shard. It's something we try and stay away from. One issue is with your slam catch, you panic on the way it's mounted, you do have the pin of the slam catch sticking out, which can cause bruising issues on animals. The other thing is to, when you're using that gate to block an animal, you push that gate closed and it locks shut. With this type of system, it doesn't do that. You just push the gate against the frame, sits against the frame, you then open it, then then draft the next animal through. That's basically the, the unique type of system that we have. And we find that it works extremely well. Thank you.